Chad Perkins just joining me. Chad is a childhood best friend of Travis Alexander. Chad, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Chad, I, I knew that you guys have been best friends since you were children. What was your first reaction when you learned that Travis had been killed by a woman that he was dating? Well, initially, I didn't realize that it was Jody. I just knew that Travis was killed. And even that was just really hard to believe because Travis is just such a tough character. He's so resilient. And later when I learned it was Jody, I still couldn't believe it. Everyone that knew him that was around everything that happened in Arizona, they all knew, but I still had a really hard time believing it. Chad, what had you learned about Jody Arias before the murder and then after? Um, well, I, I knew that she was this sweet thing and Travis baptized her and helped her out. And I knew also about six months before he died, I asked Travis about her and their relationship. And he said, uh, it's a huge long story, a lot of fatal attraction type stuff. I don't want to get into it, but just a bunch of bad news there. So I just kind of let it go. And I just thought it was just this really casual thing. And it wasn't until I started putting pieces together for myself afterwards that I realized that she was, she was trouble and she definitely did this. Wait a minute, Chad, are you telling me that Alexander said it's a fatal attraction thing? Yeah, yeah, he sounded like, I mean, Travis was always kind of a prankster, jokester type guy, but he did kind of like hint at this fact that this, um, that Jody had a little bit of a crazy tendency, a little bit of a stalker tendency, even months before he died. You know, Travis Alexander came from so little, Chad, and made so much out of his life. How did he get involved with Mormonism? Uh, he got in through his grandmother, and uh, he had his own bouts of back and forth when he was really young. And then when he was about in high school, he started going independently. So regardless of what anybody else around him was doing, he went independently and got his own personal conviction about then, about midway through high school, maybe sophomore year. Chad, when you hear this, she is having this MySpace conversation with you with blood literally, you know, dripping down her wrists. She just killed them. And she's having this conversation with you about how amazing he is, how he baptized her, how she's so grateful he was in her life. Response? Yeah, it, it, it makes me really uncomfortable, uh, especially after the fact, to realize that she did it, that she admitted doing it, and that she has contacted me before. There's something about that that is just not acceptable to me for some reason. It makes me really weird, feel really uncomfortable.